What's up guys? I'm Patrick Mattingly with Quinn Shield Blades and welcome to the channel. This is episode 2 of the Dow Knife. And this is where we're at so far and this is the plan for the knife. So in this episode we're going to go over grinding the profile, grinding the edge bevels, heat treat, and tempering. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is mark out our profile. So now we'll move over to the belt grinders to refine the profile. And now we'll very quickly hit the flats. So the plan for this knife, since it's a file, is to retain as much of the texture from the file as possible. So this will just be a very light sanding.
here, I'm just making sure my tool shelf is square for the next step in the process. Now, I sand around the entire perimeter of the knife to ensure that everything is square and deburred. So it's got the profile pretty well worked out. Now we'll have to move back over to hand filing to refine the shoulders and work in our sharpening notch. At this point, I decided I wanted to remove the teeth of the file from the spine of the blade. So that's what I'm doing here. And now, I set my plunge cut and begin to establish my edge bevels. Now, the opposite side. Occasionally, you'll see me check my work. And as I'm grinding, I watch the edge of the knife to ensure it's perfectly straight and centered. Here, I'm just refining the transition between the flats of the blade and the edge of it. Now I'm using a bastard file to clean up the plunge cuts and ensure that they're perfectly straight and symmetrical. This actually needs to get annealed again.
now we'll just wait for this to come back down to a dead cool. But you can see here, this is taking it way beyond its uh, tempering range. It's going all the way through the colors. All right, so we've got our profile done, got our edge bevels ground in, and what I'm gonna do now is just sit down and relax, go into a little bit of hand sanding to bring this up to a 300 grit polish before heat treat. And we'll start with a 150 and work our way through the grits. The hardest part of a knife to polish is right here at your plunge cut every time. The best way to solve that problem is to change your sanding direction each time you change to a finer grit sandpaper and pay extra close attention to that area of the blade. So the reason why I bring this up to a little bit of a polish before heat treat is because I've found that if you have somewhat of a decent polish, doesn't need to be a perfect mirror polish or anything like that, just somewhat of a decent polish, you'll have less scale stick to your blade after heat treat. Alright, so I've decided I actually want to forge out a little more length on this tang. And since this blade is already finished, I'm going to have to be very careful doing this. One, you really don't want your tang being all spindly and thin. Two, this is ready for heat treat. I do not want to touch anything near the Ricasso. So I think what I'm going to do is start from about here. And just try to push it out to about another half an inch to an inch possibly. We'll see how it works out. Alright, so this is 120 degree oil, 
We're gonna go ahead and bring the blade up to a cherry red and quench. All right, now we're gonna let this back out of an orange and into a red and quench. It looks like everything stayed perfectly straight. It's file tested. That's the sound we want. So we'll let this air cool now and then clean it up for tempering. All right, so while that's cooling down, I wanna talk a little bit about this process. So files, specifically Nicholson files, are 1095, I think, uh, unless you get a rasp. The rasps are case hardened, mild steel, so don't even bother with those. But the Nicholson files are all pretty good for knives, and when you heat treat and temper them, you want to treat them like temp 1095. So all the measurements I'm going to be using are going to be in Fahrenheit. I quench these files at about 1450 degrees into 120 to 130 degree oil. Um, for the temper, I use a conventional oven just like you have in your kitchen. And I'm going to temper at 450 degrees for an hour to an hour and a half. And I may actually even do it twice. We'll file test after the temper and see how it comes out. All right, well we place this upright on the rack and we will let this go for an hour to an hour and a half. I'll be back when it's done. All right, so we're just over an hour and you can see the light straw color that's developed. We're gonna go ahead and give it a few more minutes and let it deepen that straw color just a little bit. All right guys, so we've got the tempering process done and you can see this deep straw yellow almost into a brown. So I brought this a little higher than you would a normal knife because this is a file, they're incredibly hard material. So during the tempering process, we've ended up with a weird wart here and uh, fortunately it looks like it's just in the tang so I will be able to heat that up and straighten out the tang real nice and we did get some weird purple colors in here but I don't think that that is metal tempering colors I actually think that may have something to do with a little bit of the soap scum that was left on the blade from where I cleaned it just before I put it in for temper anyways guys that wraps up episode two. And remember to go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're a new viewer, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so you can stay tuned to all my videos. Up next will be episode three of the Dow Knife, where we will cover fit and finish and polish. Have a wonderful day, guys.